Prime Minister Modi has commissioned the country's first indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant into Indian Navy, at a function organized at Cochin Shipyard Limited, which is also the largest and most complex warship ever built in India's maritime history at a cost of 20,000 crore rupees. During the event, PM Modi also unveiled the new naval ensign, that represents the rich Indian maritime heritage. Officials have said, that the aviation trials will start in November, and is expected to continue till mid-2023, and the aircraft carrier will be fully operational by end of 2023. After the Cabinet Committee on Security approved the development of Tejas Mark II program yesterday, Indian Air Force Chief has said, that the Tejas Mark II will fill a critical capability void, and going by the service qualitative requirements and the assurances of the industry and the Aeronautical Development Agency, it is expected that the Tejas Mark II will be competitive with the best aircraft in the market at that time. The DRDO feels that the Tejas Mark II would be in the category of the Rafale aircraft, in terms of avionics and capabilities, but will be lighter in weight. The developmental trials of the Tejas Mark II will be completed by 2027, and will enter production in 2028, and all 106 units will be delivered by 2036. The DRDO has finalized the design for a 1,500 km range conventionally armed ballistic missile with an anti-ship variant, and the DRDO is awaiting a green signal from the Indian government to move to the development stage. This conventionally armed full-fledged carrier killer missile variant will deter any carrier-based strike group from threatening India from the Indian Ocean, and it will also counter any land-based threat from across the line of actual control. The Indian government has placed the order for serial production of the two interceptor missiles of BMD Phase 1 to Bharat Dynamics Limited, that includes Prithvia defense missile for high altitude interception, and the advanced air defense missile for lower altitude interception, that will intercept any incoming enemy ballistic missile launched from 5000 kilometers away. India has already deployed multifunction fire control radars and long range tracking radars at multiple sites and it is expected that the Phase 1 BMD shield will go operational from 2023. The Defence Acquisition Council has accorded acceptance of necessity for the procurement of 616 general-purpose machine guns with day and night sights for the Indian Army, along with 87.78 lakh rounds of ammunition. The procurement will be executed under the Buy Indian category, and to identify probable vendors, the Defence Ministry has requested the vendors to forward information on their products. Officials of Hindustan Aeronautics met the chiefs of three armed services of Argentina yesterday, to explore bilateral cooperation through exchanges and training between Defence Forces of India and Argentina, and they also pitched for the sale of Tejas Mark I fighter jet. HAL officials also gave an official briefing on Tejas Mark I to senior Argentine Air Force officials, and as per latest information, a delegation of pilots and technicians of Argentine Air Force will travel to India, to evaluate the Tejas aircraft in February on the sidelines of Aero India 2023. Bharat Electronics Limited has signed a memorandum of understanding with British firm Smith's Detection, to manufacture and offer advanced high-energy scanning systems to the Indian market. The requirement for high-energy scanning technology is being driven by defence installations, which need to screen large volumes of vehicles and impose restricted entry at sensitive areas.